Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I wanted to talk about the steel wheels on my Jeep. I get a lot of compliments, I get a lot of questions. I get a lot of questions about the part numbers that I used to get these steel wheels on here. I decided I'm here on an overlanding trip. It's been an awesome trip. I'm at 6,000 feet in the mountains in California and I wanted to just take a minute before I leave. I'm all packed up, ready to go. So I want to take a minute to make this short video because I get so many questions and I want other people to know exactly what parts I used to, to put these, these uh, steel wheels on my Jeep. So this video isn't sponsored, but I will have links in the description where you can purchase different products that you see in the video. I get a little kickback if you use my link. It doesn't raise the cost of the products to you guys if you use my link. So when I purchased this Jeep, these are actually the wheels that came on the Jeep. And I had to modify these to use on my trailer. This trailer is my Xventure XV3 trailer, and it's got a Dexter axle on it. So I had to kind of hollow out the inside of those wheels to, to make them work on the, the uh, trailer. But those are the wheels that came on the Jeep, and I really liked them. I thought they were cool looking, but I decided on these steelies. I like the look of the steel wheels. And they also make sense because technically it's never happened to me when you're aired down and you're going off road. If you are were to to dent this wheel, you could dolly it out. You could dolly this wheel out back out if if somehow you dented it and it would no longer hold air and you were in a fix, dolly this wheel out, get it back into shape so that the bead would hold on there and hold air again. Never had to do that. I am a sheet metal worker and I imagine um, knowing how to work with metal could help a lot. We also have a gladiator. And if you look underneath the back of that gladiator at the spare tire, you'll see that it's mounted on this wheel. This wheel is a 17 by seven and a half inch wheel and that's the stock size of the, the wheels that, that came on the Jeep that I now have on the trailer. 17 by seven and a half. And I purchased these center caps from Jeep that work real well. That was a little difficult to figure it out. Even down at the, the dealer parts department, they weren't really able to help me out figuring out which cap would go on there. I uh, did some research and I bought one figured out it worked and then I bought the other three. And the lug nuts are actually Magard lug nuts. And they're a little longer, so they come out, they stick out better. So it has to be a different kind of a lug nut too that holds that will work with the, the wheel, the center cap, and the lug nuts all together. And I'll have the parts down, the part, like I said, I'll have the part numbers down in the description and some links if you guys want to get them. One of the reasons that I ended up buying these steel wheels for the Jeep, and one of them was because I just think they're practical, plus they're cheaper. There's a lot of beautiful aluminum wheels out there. I mean, obviously you've all seen them if you're looking about at wheels and, and tires, but there's a lot of really incredibly good looking wheels out there. There's also a big price tag to pay for all of them. And I was already spending quite a bit of money because I had the Jeep lifted, I needed to make get a bigger tire and I wanted to get a tire that fit on the stock rim I didn't want to use any spaces or anything and so that steel wheel that is a stock size 17 by seven and a half was perfect to accomplish that and also the durability factor the price of them they're much cheaper much cheaper than basically any of the aluminum wheels the only thing cheaper would have been keeping the stock wheels but I don't want to do that I wanted the steel wheels because I know how aluminum can crack and break. I just felt like the steel is a lot better material in the, in the off-roading world. So the other reason was driving home from another overlanding trip with my wife, I saw a Bronco with steel wheels on. And now I've, I've heard that maybe those Broncos with the steel wheels, they're not actually steel. They might be aluminum wheels that look like, like steel. I don't know if that's 100% true, but I heard now that there's a lot of wheels out there that look, and there may have been for a long time, I just didn't know about it, a lot of aluminum wheels that look like steel wheels. But they're not steel wheels, they're aluminum. And I could see why a manufacturer would want to have the steely look, but they wouldn't want to have the fact that the steel wheels will rust, they won't look quite as good as an aluminum wheel, an aluminum wheel will hold the finish and probably look a lot better for longer. 
these are, these are going to probably require a little maintenance. They're going to require taking them off and sanding some rust and painting them eventually. So they're, right now they're in pretty good shape, but they do they do the paint does fade, and so they're not as quite as as that nice black as they were as when I first got them. So the three reasons I bought the wheels were the price, the looks, and the ability to hammer out a dent. Not necessarily in that order. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget, the best is yet to come. So I know this video is about these steel wheels, but I'll just give you a look around at where I camped last night. 6,000 feet, Paiute Mountain Road, way off in the distance, to the north is Mount Whitney, and then over that way to the northeast, you go, if you go far enough you'll find Death Valley, just an awesome place.